Okay, we have the hole drilled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install the thumb insert. Uh, this one's an inch and an eighth. I like to rough them up with a little bit of sandpaper to give the glue something to adhere to. And what you want to do is put a little glue down inside the hole. Go down in there, oh maybe at least a quarter of an inch below the surface of the hole. I have gravity letting the glue fall to the bottom of the hole and I want to go 360 degrees around. Now what's happening is gravity is letting that glue roll down toward the bottom of the hole. I take my thumb insert or slug, whatever you want to call it, and there's an air escape ramp on the back of the thumb insert. This is a right-handed player, so I always want to put that uh, down at the uh, 730 position. If it was a left-handed player, I would put it down at 430. And that way, that escape ramp will never interfere with the front of the thumb. Okay? So I'm going to put that back down here. And again, never want to hammer on your drill press. So we're doing this on the bench. Just set that on there. And make sure the slug always is seated against the bottom of the thumb hole. It's extremely important. If you do not, if that glue sets up before the slug hits the bottom of the hole, you have to redo it. If not, eventually, that insert will pop out. As long as you have it seated to the bottom of the hole, and you have glue all the way around just like I showed you, you should never have an issue with, a, with an insert popping out. Now what we're going to do, and what we did at the break there, I switched drill bits, we have our pitches dialed in, we're going to go back to the drill press, and if you notice, I did not mark yet where I'm putting my... Um, finger holes because the, the nice thing is if I miss a little bit on this thumb hole it's not that critical yet it'll be more critical that I hit the finger holes so I have my laser pointer on there it's right on the very center of the thumb insert I'm going to lock my bow in the jig turn it on and when we drill this hole it's also it's critical that the, the drill bit goes all the way through the slug. You don't want to leave slug at the bottom of the hole. If this is a player who bowls in any PBA tournaments, the PBA insists they want to see the, the actual material of the ball underneath. So that's how you'll know when you drill it deep enough. Again, we will peck drill. Okay, now the next step will be is take the drill press back to zero, zero, put our uh, plug cutter on, and then we'll cut this slug down flush with the ball. We're going to take care of that process right now, and then in our next video we'll come back and show you how to map. It's not important that we show you how to cut this down as we showed that in an earlier video. It's the same process that you use for cutting down plug balls, slugs, it's all the same. Just make sure your press is set at zero, zero. Come down and treat the top of this just like it was a plug ball, and that'll make it smooth with the ball. And then we'll see you back in the next video. Thanks for looking in.